Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part 1, Financial Reporting, Planning, Performance and Control. In this session, we are discussing about strategic management. The present uh, session will discuss about Porter's Five Forces model. Porter's Five Forces model. It is nothing but a competitive analysis. Competitive analysis, how a business evaluates its competitive strength and positioning of a business in the market. Positioning means establishing. Michael Porter developed five forces which will help us to evaluate the competitive strength and tells us how to position our business in, on the market. This five forces model is based on the concept that every organization faces five forces that will determine the competitive intensity that the company is going to face and enjoy the market if you if these five forces are favorable to you so let us now study these five forces what are they and what uh, you know uh, where they are advantageous or disadvantageous to our organization what is five forces model consists of the threat of market entry what are the barriers? What are the barriers we have to enter into the market? The bargaining power of suppliers, our suppliers are strong or weak. The bargaining power of customers. Threat from the substitutes what we face, our products face in the market. And the corporate rivalry, rivalry. corporate rivalry. Let us discuss these five forces in detail one by one. The threat of new entrants, that is a potential entry, bargaining power of suppliers, the bargaining power of buyers, the threat of substitutes of products and services available in the market, and rivalry among the business of uh, businesses in the market at present corporate rivalry five forces five forces these five forces are very helpful to every industry to determine the the industry's weaknesses what the industry is facing and what sense we have in uh, competition in the industry, the barriers to new entries, entrants, the power of suppliers, customers, and the threat of substitutes available in the market. Five forces. Now, these five forces are used in our analysis to understand the industry competitors new entrants, suppliers and buyers including the substitutes. The new entrants or entry barriers are nothing but what consequences put a strong you know restriction on a company to enter into the market. It is good for the existing organizations if entry barriers are too heavy so that it is not very easy to enter into the business certain businesses but a, a new company which wants to enter into a, you know a market the entry barriers restrict them to enter into the market which include the enjoying of cost advantages having access to inputs yes 
if you do not have a proper access to inputs it is called as entry barrier like government policy whether it is liberal or very strict the economies of scale how best we can optimize the resources the amount of capital that is required to start the operations heavy or medium the cost advantages include the brand identity whether uh, a company is going to face a brand or our company itself is a brand a switching costs from one product to the other product or one you know activity to the other activity how good is the access to the distribution of goods and services and some proprietary products differentiated products available in the market the products belong to a particular industry a particular business they are called as proprietary products so if they are healthy and you know uh, uh, can be achieved can be achieved kind of you know factors then our a new company will enjoy this or if our company is an existing company and there are heavy entry barriers so we will enjoy because uh, it is very difficult for new organizations to enter into the market then the next model is about the bargaining power of you know customer bargaining power of customer means how the customer is stronger whether our customer is strong enough or purely depend on us it is called as buyer bargaining power or bargaining power of customer bargaining power of a customer of our organization is high when buyers are more concentrated than sellers so they they they, they buy lots of product from you they are very much concentrated on the products and services buyer switching costs are very low in a sense they can switch over from one supplier to the other supplier with no or minimal cost like you are the service provider customer has you know a freedom to switch from you to other with no or nominal fee they are called as switching costs when these switching costs are very low the customer is strong why because at any time we can switch over to the other company services threat of backward integration means the customer customer you know integrates backward integration means customer takes over sometimes the business the business so customer is strong here he invests money in the company so he you know he will have control over your business operation buyer price is sensitive means this price is available with other suppliers also and that is uh, very sensitive if the customer is very uh, strict about the price the other business may compromise and offer him at a lower price so he can switch to the other supplier prices are not fixed they are sensitive buyer is well educated technically you know or you know the marketing activities or the product um, knowledge etc undifferentiated product is offered by you means the product doesn't have any speciality that is available everywhere undifferentiated product means it is not a special product just only offered by you the product may be available everywhere buyer purchases a product high volume you produce monthly say 100000 units 100000 units one of your customers is buying around 30% of this production every month if he gives up you are the loser why because if you if you lose this customer 30% of your production will be there with you and you'll have to find a new customer so here customer is stronger so you'll have to give him delivery on time you have to give him some credit 
uh, you have to be in good books with him. And our products are facing lots of substitutes. Substitute is a product or service which is exactly a replica is available in the market. A soap, a toilet soap, say for example, you have hundreds of soap, soap manufacturers. They're all substitutes. Laptops. They have, we have lots of you know companies producing laptops. So there are substitutes unless your product is uh, differentiated. So they face the substitutes in the market. Bargaining power of customer is high when these are all positive. It will be low when these go into negative. Like switching costs are very high. So your customer will think that why should I go to other supplier because it will cost me more. Your prices are not sensitive. They are fixed. You know. Or buyer is not much well educated about the product. Or you are operating, offering, offering differentiated product. Your product is unique. It is not available with other suppliers. So then the customer, the bargaining power of customer will be low. Bargaining power of supplier. Our supplier is stronger. The supplier becomes stronger when he is the only one supplying the goods to you. Means concentrated supplier. Products are you know offered by only this particular supplier. Or you have a contract with the supplier, and because of some issues, you want to switch the supplier from one to supplier two there are heavy supplier call you know switch over cost switching costs so you'll have to compromise with the same supplier because there is a switching cost involved if the switching costs are high your supplier is stronger if the switching costs are lower it will be the bargaining power of supplier will be lower or the prices are not sensitive threat of forward integration forward integration means supplier takes over buyer's business backward integration is a bargaining power of customer supplier invests in buyer's company this is called backward integration and buyer purchase product in low volume you are buying only or like 0.25 percent of the supplier production he doesn't care about it but if you supply if he supplies 25 percent of his production to you only then bargaining power of supplier will be low you are you are just purchasing around 0.25 percent of his production he feels that even if he loses you you are not losing anything because you are not that much important to him If the product is highly differentiated, means it's a unique product which is available only with the supplier. In other words, we can say monopoly. Okay. And we are buying low volumes. Substitutes are unavail unavailable. The product which is offered by, offered by the supplier, it, it is not available with other suppliers. Then we can say the bargaining supplier, bargaining power of supplier is or the buyer is uneducated about the product or service we we are not aware of the product technical know-how or you know the product information then the bargaining power of supplier is high and any negative factors in these points we can just say that the bargaining power of supplier is low threat of substitutes in the present market you can see a substitute for every product every service a substitute is nothing but a product from another industry which is available to any customer which offers 
same benefits what the customer wants from a particular product. So customer is not um, you know much familiar about a product differentiation say for example then the threat of substitutes will take take place. X as a substitute called Y. So the similar benefits you are getting from Y. So customer is freedom to choose either product X or product Y. And this threat of substitutes shapes the competitive structure in the industry. Otherwise what happens is customer has a freedom not to choose your product. The product similar product is available in the market. So when this threat of substitutes places high risk on our business, when a substitute product offers similar benefits and the prices are cheaper than our industry product or organization product, then the threat of substitutes will be higher. And once your customer becomes, um, you know, a uh, um, um, regular customer to your product, later on he finds a substitute, the switching charges from your product to the substitute product are very low. So consumer will enjoy the substitutes because there are no or nominal switching costs. The substitute is a replica in a sense the quality is equal to the product which you offer or superior to the industry product. Maybe superior and it is or the customer is enjoying cost advantage as well. The substitute product or service performance is equal or superior to the product or service what you offer. So the customer as an option to compare the quality, the performance of your product with a substitute available in the market. More substitutes available in the market, higher the risk because the customer has lots of you know, advantages of comparing the products offered by you and substitutes which are available in the market threat of substitutes. Degree of rivalry. In today's highly competitive market, there is an intensity of rivalry among the competitors. You go with a promotion X, the competitor comes with a promotion Y. So there is a high intensity of competition among the industries they're ready to they're ready to decrease the profit to to throw the existing companies out of the market enjoying the competitive advantage competitive advantage the degree of rivalry is high among the competitors when there are numerous competitors offering the same product or same service. The industry growth is very low. Only in the concentrated market we have to play. The fixed costs are very high. So we cannot you know offer the products at a competitive prices. Almost the competitors have uh, equal size of the production capacity, market capacity or market share. And almost all the competitors are offered, offering same kind of product which is undifferentiated. Consumers or customers do not care about the brand loyalty. So as long as there's no brand loyalty, required or you know um, customers required then uh, just it becomes a product there is a brand 
So obviously customers will come to you. So brand loyalty, if it is significant, customers will not leave you. But if it is insignificant, they don't care about the, you know, the brand. Consumer customer, uh, consumer or customer switching costs are low. Then easily customers can switch over to other suppliers. There are heavy or uh, equal market share for the competitors. Your competitors are, you know, strategically diverse. They can take an action to diversify from time to time. Or there is an excess capacity over demand. So all the suppliers are waiting for the customers to pick up the goods. Supply is heavy than demand. Or the exit barriers are high. Means to go out of the market, the exit barriers are high. So the degree of the intensity of rivalry will be high when exit barriers are high. The companies will enjoy will enjoy the competitive market. It is very difficult because they have to survive in the market. 